What's going on guys, it's Masters Health here bringing you another Let's Play As from the Rainbow Six Siege Let's Play As series. So today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look and playing as the offensive operator Thermite and using his breaching charges to breach open barricaded walls. Let's jump right into this. So, Thermite's so abilities are the... I don't know the technical term for them, I'm You're just going to say breaching bomb. charges for this, maybe uh, I'll call them thermite charges, because they aren't just breaching charges, um, but what they are is they have the ability to breach through reinforced walls. So as a defender, uh, you get two reinforced walls, unless you're playing as the recruit, you're going to get one of them, um, but you can put them on breachable walls that can be breached by a breaching charge, well that was a lot of breaches. Um, but so these MDF walls in front of me, you can see, uh, you can breach through them. Those black walls right there, they are unbreachable because they have the uh, barricade on it. So thermites, breaching charges, can melt through them and blow it open. So basically, it's just it's opening what the enemy thinks is an unbreakable surface. So it's it's I love his ability. I'm <laughs> here. I was like, oh, let's try and breach this, but stupidly, of course, I forgot that it was electrified. I lost 18 health and then it got destroyed straight away, so that was quite useless. Um, but yeah, I do like his ability. They're quite good. You only get two of them, though. I would prefer if you got three. Um, you do have the ability on Thermite's classes to put breaching charges. I wouldn't recommend that. I see it quite pointless, as you already have two Thermite charges with him. Um, but yeah, they're really good. So if an enemy thinks they've got a corner locked down or something because they've got barricades there, um, they've barricaded the wall and stuff, um, with reinf sorry, reinforce the wall, um, and you just have the ability to completely blow that space open. That's going to scare the enemy, confuse the enemy. They're probably going to freak out a tiny bit, and with all the rubble and debris and dust that's going everywhere, you're probably going to have a bit of time to uh, run in and just kind of you can establish what's going on while they can't, and then just take them out. Um, but yeah, he he is a good operator. I love his um, rifle, as you see me here, getting just completely shredding that recruit. Um, so he does have a really good weapon. He does have a good ability. I, I do like him as an operator all round. Um, yet again, his rifle just tearing down Frost. Um, yeah, I'd recommend using him on offensive. He's great for the team as well because he can breach open walls and then of course the team can come through them, not just you. So he's a, he's a very uh, team player as well. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend using him. Uh, he doesn't have any great maps, any bad maps, or anything like that. Because, of course, the enemy is going to reinforce the sector that either the hostage or the biohazard container is in. Um, and unlike Fuse, his breaching charges aren't going to kill the hostage or anything. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play As. And I'll, of course, catch you guys in the next one.